how to download and install Android Studio on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Open your browser and type here Android Studio download. Enter. Click on the official link for download Android Studio and App Tools. Here you have the latest version of Android Studio. Get the official integrated development environment for Android app development. Every version of Android Studio has a different name. You can read the release notice before downloading and installing Android Studio. If you would like to learn more about Android Studio, then you can read further in this page. As you see, there are many demos and tutorials that shows you how to use Android Studio and how to find your way around Android Studio. Click on download Android Studio. Then you have to accept the terms and conditions. Click on download Android Studio. The installer is downloaded. Jump to your download folder. Download folder and here you have Android Studio and the version. Double click on the installer. Welcome to Android Studio setup. Click on next. Selected components to install. You have Android Studio and Android Virtual Device. Android Studio is the build tool, the code editor, but Android Virtual Device is the emulator. If you would like to use your own device for testing your apps, then you do need to install Android Virtual Device. Check it only if you would like to use a Virtual Device emulator for testing your applications. Click on Next. You can change the location, then click on next. Click on install. Installation complete, setup was completed successfully. You can see the details, show details. You can read and see what happened, then click on next. Start Android Studio, click on finish. If you have settings and configuration from the previous version, then you can import, otherwise check do not import settings. Click on OK. help improve android studio there are enough people that send this data so i say don't send click on next choose the type of setup you want for android studio you have a standard and custom android studio will be installed with the most common settings and options Recommended for most users. Custom, you can customize installation settings and components installed. Click on next. Here, check what you want to install. This is the Android SDK location. Then click on next. Click on next.
these are an overview of your installation settings if anything is not okay you can go back and change otherwise click on next so here for each component you have to click and then accept the terms and conditions for android sdk license accept it. and then for android sdk arm dbt license accept it. click on finish components downloaded and installed successfully click on finish welcome to android studio let us create a new project and test the android studio new project navigation drawer view activity next Test Android Studio. If you have a domain name, use always your own domain name. For example, I have akyanus.com. So it is com.akyanus. The name of your application, and this is the location. It is best to change the location always. You can select the language, Kotlin or Java. I personally like Java. Then you have the minimum SDK or the API level. Let us select it API 21. Then click on finish. When you run Android Studio for the first time, it takes some time. When you start the first project in Android Studio, it takes more time because it has to download and install the necessary basic packages and libraries. And for the next project, it will not take so much time. So it has created a virtual device or an emulator for testing our application. Click on run app. If you're not happy with the created virtual device by Android Studio, you can delete this virtual device and create your own custom virtual device. So this is the template project that it is created. Here you have the menu, gallery, slideshow. Here you have settings and this one. So this is a very basic application or a very basic project. That's it guys, I hope it was helpful, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting and being around, have great times.